everybody, it's the War Hipster here, coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial, and today we are entering the Arena of Shades. Yes, we are painting the High Gladiatrix from the Arena of Shades box and the Daughters of Cain faction. It's a very, very cool model. I think you'll agree. Really, really pleased with it. It looks awesome. And, well, we're going to be painting it today, and we're going to jump in without further ado. Now, she has been primed in Grey Seer. And the colour we're going to be using first is Basilicanum Grey. And this is going to be for all of our black details. Now this is going to include areas such as her boots and her leather trousers and any of the straps holding all of said things on. Now, don't worry too much at this stage about being completely neat. It's okay if you get a little bit of this on other details because it's very early in the painting process. And just create correct any mistakes that we make at this point but at this point it's a good idea to just figure out painting around that whip because it is a little bit tricky it's easy to forget it's there So with that Basilicanum Grey applied, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some Black Templar and we're going to paint this over the top of all those details that we've just painted Basilicanum Grey over. Nice and simple. Give us a nice dark, clean black. So with that Black Templar applied, like this, all over, as you can see, we've got this really nice kind of consistently dark black on all of those details. So what we're going to do is move on. We're going to do all the shading and highlights later. So the colour we're going to move on to is red. It's going to be Blood Angels red. And this is going to be for the little tabard. And what we're going to do is just going to negotiate our brush around the corner of the, of the, uh, of the whip. We're just going to very carefully paint this over the top of these hanging areas. Just like so. So with that done, it's still drying at the moment, but that's okay because what we're going to do is we're going to paint in the length of the whip. And the colour we're going to be using for this is a roughly one-to-one -one mix of Flesh Terra's Red and Shaiish Purple. And what we're going to do is just going to pick a place to start. I'll just start right up here. And we're going to take this a section at the time. We want this to be this nice deep red colour. So we're just doing this by making sure that we finish off each half of the whip, as it were. So you'll do one stroke like that on that side. And then that will be more than enough to go over onto the other side and paint in the back half. So you'll end up covering over the whole load of it rather than trying to do all of it at once. Same again, go down this half. And then that half, like so. You just want to keep going. Until you've done the entire whip. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to paint on the skin. Now the colour we're going to make is a roughly one-to-one -one mix of contrast medium and the Gilliman flesh. What we want to do is we just want to very carefully now apply this nice and easy and evenly across all of her skin. Now she's got quite a lot. And we don't want to use loads on our brush as we do this. Because we want this to be quite fair and soft. I'm just doing here. As you can see, I'm not loading up the brush too much. I'm 
So with that done, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take some apothecary white. We're gonna apply this over the top of her hair. So with that now done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some thinned down iron hand steel. I'm gonna use this to paint in all of her silver armor. And she's got quite a fair bit of this. But we're also gonna use this to paint in the metal of her, of her weapon, just here. like so and then along the whip we've got the little barbs as well as the blade just there like that so you just want to make your way around the model and then once that's done we'll come back So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thin down retributor armor. I'm going to use this to effectively paint in all of our remaining details, such as the belt, the decorative features on the weapons. So with that done, all of our base coats are now on on our high gladiatrix. So what we're going to do is we're going to shade all of those metallics. Now, the color we're going to be using first for this is Griff Charger Gray. And this is going to be across all of our silver details. So with that Griff Charger Grey applied, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Fire Slayer Flesh and we're going to apply this over the top with all of our gold details. Just like that. What we're also going to do is we're going to apply this over the top of the red tabard as well. So with that done, our High Gladiatrix is now what I would call a war hipster battle ready, but we are not done there. No, we are going to take her to the very next level. And well, the place we're gonna start is on all of that armor. And well, the color we're gonna be using for this is Iron Hand Steel. And what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be effectively re-layering the armor on the wide open places. So we've got areas such as the breastplate just here, we're just going to get that iron hand steel back up on there, making sure it's nice and bright, just avoiding where the Griff Charger Grey is really settled in those recesses. Just to make it nice and shiny. Just like this. Now, on some of the smaller areas, 
such as the little bladed veins on the whip and the knife. We're just going to not add any of this here. We're just looking to get those wide open areas. Make sure that they are nice and shiny. Instead, for those smaller areas, we're going to edge highlight them in just a moment. So you just want to go around like this. And then once that's done, we'll come back. And so with that done, just before we finish off the silver, what we're going to do is we're going to take some thin down Liberator Gold. And we're going to use this in much the same way, but over the top of all of our gold details. We want these to be nice and bright. And so with that Liberator Gold applied, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Stormhost Silver. And we're going to use this to highlight all of our silver and all of our gold. So with that done, all of our metallics are now finished and they look absolutely fantastic, bright and shiny and lethal, first and foremost. So what we're going to do now, we're going to work on the next big area and that is going to be all of the skin. Now, the first color we're going to be using is Magos Purple. And what we're going to be doing with this is basically we're going to be doing a recessed shade with it. So we're just going to be picking out all of the deepest, darkest areas on the model. just like this, just to give it a little bit more punch. And so as not to completely darken down all of the skin. So with that Magos Purple applied, what we're then going to do is going to take a tiny, tiny amount of Drift Charger Grey. I'm going to use this around these kind, of, around her kind of temples. Just like that on that side. Just like that on that side as well. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some thins down flayed one flesh. I'm going to use this to add some very subtle little highlights to all of the sharp features on the face and across all of the muscles. Just want to be very careful here, it's very fiddly. Take your time. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thinned down pallid witch flesh. And we're going to very, very carefully add this in just a very few places. So, the first is at the tip of the nose, just there, just a little dot, just like that. Next, 
it's just around the scar. Like that. Gonna add it to the tip of the ear. Like so. And then what we're gonna do, gonna add a tiny bit of it to the knuckles. So with all of the flesh now finished, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a really small amount of black Templar. We're gonna add this over the top of the eyeballs. So with that done, once again, using a tiny, tiny, tiny amount of pallid witch flesh, what we're going to do is going to very, very carefully here, put a dot of pallid witch flesh on either side of the eyeball. Just like that. So with that done, the face and the skin are all finished. And well, it's now time to move on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some thin down Corax white. I'm gonna use this to highlight the hair. We're just gonna do this by picking out all the strands. So with that done, what we're then going to do is going to take a tiny amount of, of white scar. <laughs> That's the paint. And we're just going to add a little tiny spot highlight just towards the roots of the hair. So with that done, the hair is all finished. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take some thin down Dawnstone and we're going to use this to highlight all of our black details. So we're just picking out those edges. So with that Dawnstone applies to all of our black details, what we're now gonna do is we're just gonna take a very tiny, tiny amount of Administratum Grey. We just wanna pick out the points on the boots. That's all. Just like that. And so with that done, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take some Evil Sun Scarlet. I'm gonna use this to highlight 
Ah, oh, red trails. The tabard. Just running along the hard edges. Just like this. And so with that done, what we're then going to do is we're going to take a tiny amount of Jacaro orange. I'm going to run this along the upper edge of this front trail. Like that. We're going to run it along the ends. And then we're also going to run it along the upper edge of this trail. Just like that. So with that done, the High Gladiatrix is now finished. And she looks absolutely fantastic. A really great addition to my, well, now burgeoning Daughters of Cain army. But before we wrap up the video, I'm just gonna show you how I'm gonna do this rock. And I'm gonna be using two colors for this. I'm gonna be using Skeleton Horde, and I'm gonna be using Space Wolves Gray. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load up my brush with some Skeleton Horde first, and I'm just gonna paint this all over the rock until I'm happy with it. So round about there like that. That'll do. So I'm going to wash the brush and then starting from that area where I've just painted the skeleton horde, I'm going to take some Griff Charger Grey I'm going to start painting this over the top of it, moving it round. Just like that, give me this really nice kind of ruined elven look. So on the back just here, I'll grab a little bit more skeleton horde. Paint it all over. Like that. Then grab that Grip Charger Grey once more and just apply it over the top. Just like that, letting the two colours mix on the model. I'm here. I'm just going to grab that skeleton horde. I'm just going to paint that over the top of that skull. Just there, like that. And then it's done. All that's left to do is to add my choice of texture, which is going to be Armageddon Dunes. And jobs are good. So here we are then, the High Gladiatrix is now finished. She's a really understated model, but really cool. <laughs> it's very difficult to kind of describe her. I've really enjoyed painting it. It's a fantastic little characterful model to add to the Daughters of Cain collection. And a really nice little secondary general next to Marathi. But I just really, really like it. It's very elegant, very cool, very menacing. That facial expression is absolutely fantastic. Really enjoyed painting this one, I must say. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel, and you want to support me further like these legends and bosses on the screen before you, you can do so. Head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster or head to ko-fi.com forward slash warhipster.
Alternatively, you can now become a YouTube channel member by heading to the channel page and clicking on the join button just here, just like these absolute bosses have done. And if you just want to shoot me a little thanks, just because you really love this video, you can click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.